We're at Husker Harvest Days. We're in the Commodity Building and uh, catching up with Ken Boswell, who is president of the Nebraska Soybean Association. And uh, Ken, uh, we know it's been an interesting couple of days here at the show, but there's still been a lot of farmers come in. Uh, uh, what uh, What's the message you're giving them? Okay, one thing that we're talking about a lot is the waters of the U.S. rule, where EPA is trying to expand the Clean Water Act to basically cover any ground that has a little pocket or puddle where water sits after a heavy rain. And we have a letter that we're collecting signatures on that will be sent to EPA and also a copy to the president's office. The House uh, has voted. They got right back into it when they came back in after their break. Uh, they have uh, voted, but uh, I guess as a lot of folks are waiting to see what happens in the Senate, uh, what do you think the prospects are there for any sort of action? Uh, I think it's going to take an awful lot of political pressure from the grassroots to contact your senators to get any traction in, in the Senate. And I would almost say that if we don't get a party change for leadership in the Senate, it will not go any place. Well, uh, obviously there are a number of issues, and, and I think the, you know, the water issue has been one that a lot of agriculture has been focused on, but, but uh, you know, there's still a little bit of work left to be done in Washington, and that's some of the things that you do from the association side, is continue to help tell those stories to those that can make those decisions that do have a, an impact on the farmers. Yes, uh, that's one of the big responsibilities of the association is maintaining contacts with the current delegation in that. Plus, we're as an organization, we're not involved because our tax status in that. We cannot endorse any political candidates in that. But our board of directors as individuals are working with several of the candidates that support our policies in that uh, to help get them elected. Well, and that uh, I think a lot of folks will be glad when that season's over and we can kind of get back, uh, get back to it. But, uh, uh, but one of the things I, I'm sure as you talk to farmers, you talk about that membership and that role that the association plays. Uh, a lot of folks probably say, "Well, you know, my neighbor's a member; he'll take care of it, or somebody else will take care of it. Oh, Ken will take care of it for us." But, but really, as you go to D.C. quite a bit, there's power in numbers, and so when you go, whether they be friendly agriculture people or maybe folks who just have have questions if you can come and say here's the numbers and this is you know because uh, all politicians listen to the numbers right correct Ken uh, the membership numbers of the organization your representative has a big issue on who you even get into and are able to talk to when you get back to DC quite uh, quite interesting well good Ken anything else that uh, uh, folks need to know about about the activities that are going on with the Nebraska Soybean Association uh, one thing that's going on right now I don't know how many people are aware of it but the, in conjunction with the American Soybean Association we give away a scholarship of five thousand dollars to a high school senior that is planning on majoring in agriculture but one stipulation on it is their parents have to be association members. And this is national competition, so it's pretty strict, comp stiff competition, but so really, it's well worth it. Good, nice investment, I'll only become a member, but uh, maybe if you have a kid going to school, that would help out as well. Well, great. So the best thing to do was go to the website, uh, find more information on, on what that all entails. Uh, yeah, they can either go on the website, either the NSA website or the American Soybean Association website, or contact our state office in Lincoln. All right, Ken, we'll let you get back to talking to the farmers. Thanks for your time. You're welcome, Ken. Ken Boswell from Shickley, who is the current president of the Nebraska Soybean Association, has joined us here at Husker Harvest Days. For Ag View, I'm Ken Rogers.